Hey, welcome back, everybody. Excel Video 477. I'm Nate Moore. MGMA's annual conference in Nashville is coming up in just a couple of weeks. The session for business intelligence and playing with all these new tools we're talking about is Monday afternoon. That's where I'll be, and I look forward to seeing you there. We spent some time loading and then refreshing data. Now that we have data in our data model, let's play with it. From the Power Pivot menu, the Manage button will get us to the data model. And if you remember from the uh, prior Excel video, once you load this and once you go to the Power Pivot window, what it's going to do is open a whole new window to play. So here's Excel and here is the Power Pivot window. And what I have here now is four tables. I have a dates table, a work RVU table, a provider category table. And if you've been following along, I switched to a build charges table so that I could show you this example. Here's what I want to do. First off, I have four tables in Excel that I, I, I couldn't do before unless I had four separate tabs in a worksheet or whatever and I tried to connect the four. It's hard to be able to pivot four tables worth of data at once without the Excel data model. But you can't pivot them unless Excel knows how these tables relate to each other. Let me see if I can explain what that means. In the build charges table, I have a date of service column. In the dates table, what I have is a date column. Let me make this just a bit bigger so you can see it. So here's my dates. And then I have a year, a quarter, a month, and all these things to describe that, hey, January 7th is 2012. is in 2012. It's in first quarter. It's in the month called January. It's in the abbreviated month called JAN. Here's the day, month, and year. There's all kinds of ways to group this data. One of the things you'll find out when you play in Power Pivot is the old ways to group dates go away in Power Pivot. If you've seen my Excel videos about grouping dates, and you can choose month, quarter, year, and all that good stuff, doesn't happen in Power Pivot. That's one of the downsides. The upside is you can control how things work with a date table. We're going to spend a lot of time on a date table. For now, just accept the fact that I've got a date here, I've got a date of service here, and I'm going to relate those two. So when Excel sees 4 20 2012, the date table is going to tell it, hey, that's in April, it's in 2012, it's in second quarter, it might be on a Tuesday, whatever else the date table needs to tell us. By the same token, the build charges table has a provider. I'm going to relate that provider to the provider category so that when I see the provider, I'll know, hey, this one's a partner, this one's a senior partner, this one's an employee, that kind of thing. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to relate this procedure code here to a work RVU table. I happen to know work RVU is based on Medicare for 2014, so I'm going to grab that based on codes, and then I've got all these codes in here, 15,000 of them, almost 16 if you look at the bottom. I've got all of these codes that now I can relate to work RVUs, and here, yeah, here's some numbers as I start to get into some procedures. I can now add work RVUs to my build charges table that I got out of my PM system. So my PM system doesn't have work RVUs, no problem, I'm going to add it. My PM system doesn't know the provider categories, no problem, I'm going to add it. Or the different dates that I want to look at, month, quarter, year, all that good stuff, I'm going to add it. The way I'm going to do it is to create a relationship. Here I'm in the grid view, here I'm in the diagram view. So I'm going to switch to diagram and Excel says, okay, I'm going to show you the different tables that are here. And let's just drag these guys a bit so everybody shows up in one happy picture there. Perfect. Here's my bill charges table. For those of you that have watched my VLOOKUP tables and suffered through all that, this is a far sight easier than VLOOKUP. Here's the data service. The, the table is date, where I want to match the date of service, and the field is called date. So I want to take date of service from build charges. I want to match it to the date's date table. With that, I build a relationship. That wasn't too painful, was it? But now every time Excel sees a data service in the build charges, or the, or the Excel data model does, it knows that that data service relates to this date, and then I can get year, month, month, number, quarter, all that kind of stuff from this relationship. By the same token, I'm going to take the provider, relate it to the provider category, do the same thing. I'm going to take the procedure code here, relate that to the code field in my work RVU table, and now I have three relationships. 
And then what I can do is I can double click and it will show me the relationship. From the build charges table, the provider column is related to the provider category table and the provider column. And I can do that from the design tab as well. The design tab will let me create and manage a relationship. Let's get rid of this relationship. I'm just going to highlight it and hit delete and delete it from the model. And let's come create a new relationship without being in this drag and drop, just so you can be a little more precise if you want to. I've got a build charges table. And remember, I want to get provider and provider out of both. So we're going to take the provider field here. And I'm going to go to provider category and provider field there. There's my relationship. I click create. As soon as it's created, I have that relationship there. And the arrow tells me the, di the direction of the relationship. I've got my data in build charges, and it's going to match up to a provider category here. I might The provider is in here many times, but the pro provider is only in here once. I only list Dr. Constanza once here and tell you what provider category is in. But he's going to be associated with multiple build charges. Same thing. The work RVU or and the, the code, the code is going to be here multiple times. I might bill 99213 thousands and thousands of times, but it's only listed once here in the work RVU table. And Excel manages that one to many relationship with these relationship diagram. Again, from down here in the corner, grid and relationships. That's what I wanted to show you about relationships. Now I've related the data. We're going to come back and do more things with these menus in the next Excel video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.